Hey guys, RC here, back with episode two of our Forest Green save. And uh, I'm recording this right on the heels of the last episode, so haven't had you know the other video go up yet. It is currently rendering, so you will see that today on Saturday. Uh, have some new mic settings? Let me know in the comments what you guys think about it. Uh, trying to cut out some of the extra sounds and uh, get a little more stability in there. I haven't used these settings before, so let me know what you think. Do they come across all right? Uh, since we left off, we had a 3-1 defeat to West Brom. Jack Aitchinson scored in the first minute. It was officially the fastest goal in Carabao Cup history, but we lost 3-1. Uh, to a much bigger club, and then a disappointing nil-nil draw to Grimsby, but we still managed a point, so that was a good thing. So today we're playing Port Vale and Bradford City. We are on the road as favorites, so to that end, we are going to go with our, our default tactic. Uh... I'm going to go ahead and let the coach make the call here, and he wants James in. Because Davis is not natural. Davis is uh, natural at left back, and James is our player. So let's go with that. Let's go with that. Uh, Freer's going to be out to the side, and we are still that one player short due to the uh, homegrown trained at club situation. Uh, let's see, morale boost. So we're going to be passionate. Uh, go out there and give the fans their money's worth. Morale has really nosedived uh, with just those two defeats. or Well, the defeat and the draw. So I'm a little concerned about that. So I'm going to ask for some passion early. And they're nonplussed. All right, well, a little fired up by the feedback. Delayed reaction. Oh, nice block there by the defender, I believe. I believe that was Leaf Davis, the Leeds Loney. All right, he plays it all the way back to James, who goes over the top. Davis with that overlap. And Winchester slides it past the keeper at the far post. His first goal of the season for the midfielder, Leif Davis, with a nice assist. That was very, very good. All right. I don't want to give praise too early. All right, Freer controls the ball. He makes a break up the left flank. His man cuts the angle. There's a big cross, and he's taken down in the box. Collins goes down. Mead is probably going to get a yellow card, which he does. And James. Oh, he misses the penalty. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. It should be 2-0. Uh, oh, my God. What a save. I thought that was a clean shot on the goal. Definitely clear-cut chances there. All right, I'm going to demand more. Oh, they're pressured. Oh, my God, he really wants us to work. Come on, fellas. I realize there's no audio in the game, so I don't need the headphones. I was listening to a, a test video I had recorded right before this with the new mic settings. So forgot to take them off. If you ever see me with headphones playing FM, it's just because I forgot to take them off. Uh, let's see. Uh, morale boost. We're going to go assertive. Things are going well. You're capable of better. Sure. All right, a set piece, a little flick on header. Oh, you should have let the keeper have that, man. Oh, no, we got dinked. 
<laughs> oh man, our keeper got dinked. That they should have let the keeper have it there. Oh, that was just a nice entry pass. Oh, that kind of reminded me. Now yeah, I don't need to watch it again. Uh, the Fulham Brentford uh, final in the playoffs, a couple of, about a week ago. Um, if you haven't seen it, go look at the set piece goal in that match. It's brilliant, <laughs> just brilliant. All right, uh, Dominic on the right, Matt Mills. So Matt is our player coach. He is older. He doesn't quite have the pace, but that's the guy I've got to bring on. And Davis, I'm going to bring Davis up into the mid here, and then let's bring Joseph Mills, our captain, back on. Uh, another set-piece goal. Son of a biscuit. Yes, and show some passion. Davis already his third yellow card. All right. Uh, Winchester and Dawson. Don't know Kevin Dawson. Hasn't played a whole lot. He can pass. He's decent. Amu, that's for their club. All right, can we steal a goal and equalize? Oh, my God, Freer. How many goals in the last two, in the in two videos have just gone right into the keeper? All right, some good touch passing here. That was not great. All right, come on. Let's get a pass in. Get a pass in. Collins lays it off outside. Rawson. Mills is there. Mills to Collins. Joseph Mills with the good ball over the top. Collins with a good placement. And that is an equalizer in the 90th minute. A little lucky, but sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. We've dominated the game, but I'm feeling a little lucky getting out with a point. Uh, yes, I'm going to go assertive. Uh, far from pleased. Dawson makes his debut. Winchester. I'm not going to praise him. The goal was expected. And only 76. I'm not going to praise him on the passing. All right, we'll be right back for Bradford City. All right, we're back for the Bradford City game. We, uh, we're we going to go with the same tactic. I'm going to drop it to balanced. And I did tweak one thing. I added tighter marking. That was the only thing I've added. So we have Aitchison up top. Uh, you know, I'm kind of thinking Hall is injured. Aitchinson could play out there. Odin Bailey. Matty Stevens. Do we give him a go? Tell you what, why why don't I well, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna put him up top. I want Aitchinson out on the wing. And I think that's good. I am aware of the sub situation. All right, so they're playing a 4 4 1 1. All right, calm. All right, so a couple of changes. Let's see how that translates for us. All right, we're wearing our away kit, so it looks like a darker blue and a lighter blue checker pattern. It's a weird look. It's a weird look. All right, we do have a set piece into the box. 
Oh, and they've got a counter. Pritchard's on the ball. Oh, he just blows past our center back. Good save by Smith. Wow. Headed out. Adams, I was hoping we would get a counterattack there. Stevens is nervous, and that's to be expected. Okay, get creative. Oh, nice ball. Good touch by Aitchison, Atchison. Davis. Davis finds him with a nice pass. And, oh, it just goes over the bar. Thought maybe the keeper got a finger on it, but... Mm. All right, so Stevens back to being nervous. Collins picks up a yellow. Winchester pulled knee ligaments. All right, so we are going to have to pull him off. Crap, where is... Where's my defensive mid, mid guy here? Is he out? He must be out. Oh, it's it's only the guys on the Yeah, he's not in the in the Oh, that's disappointing. All right. So I don't have a defensive mid. I do have a central mid. No, I really don't have that either, do I? Mondal marking. Yeah, we're lacking here, fellas. We are lacking. I could. Who do I want there? i tell you what. I'm going to bring Giovanni Brown on. He's not. It's not a normal position for him. And I'm just going to make him central mid more attacking. Caliero. I don't like that position. Let's make him a ball winning midfielder. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Uh, tactics are out to the dressing room, please. All right. And you two guys. Oh, and I just screwed that up. All right. Come on, fellas. Early creativity. And you know what? I am going to go up to positive. They're not dominating the game. We are. So I'm going to go back into that positive mode. Okay. Um, demand more. All right. They're focused. Stevens is playing a 6-7. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I am going to... Boy, boy. Let's put Josh Marsh out on the wing. I'm going to put Atchison back up on top. And more doll. It's an early sub. few minutes. But we're going to get the youngster off. Try to get another veteran on. Not, you know, not that we have a ton of veterans. Was that Davis? Oh, Davis got torched. Oh, good foot in by Brown. He's on the attack. And, yeah, that didn't look so good. That did not look good at all. Oh, good saves. Well, a good save and then a good bar. All right, let's steal one here, fellas. No, it was blocked. No. Oh, there was the winner right there. We have been so unlucky with some of these blocks. Yeah, I'm going to say we were unlucky on that one. Um, assertive, unlucky. All right, well, so on the heels of three draws, we are in third position. Winchester's out for two weeks. That's going to be troubling. If we take a look at the team report, 
I mean, I'm four deep, and these guys are pretty good, so I don't lose a lot. It's just really trying to work the sub rotations, and that's where I'm having the biggest issue right now. Uh, let's see. Yeah, and Williams is out, so he's not an option up there. Collins is my right winger. Aitchinson's up top. Let's take a look at the squad here in the early going. We are five matches in. So uh, three goals for Collins in six, two for Atchison in six, uh, Winchester, Rawson, and James with goals as well. Uh, the assists, they're spread all over the board. Every, a bunch of people with one. So not a lot going on there. Davis with one assist, but he's playing a seven, so that's, that's real good. Uh, he's coming into, into some form there. And he is, you know, he is training there. You know, he's not good, but he's got the right skills. So I like that coming. I'd, he's a player I'd like to pick up from Leeds, you know, to, to move up on another level if we can. Because I think he could play with us all the way up into the championship. But anyway, where do we come back? I want to try to, do we, I don't think we care about leasing.com. One, two, three. Tell you what, let's come back for, um, let me know in the comments. What is, what's your guys' opinion on Salford? Aren't they the team that are owned by like the really rich guys that just pour money into them? Or do I have them mixed up with someone else? I think that's those guys. Maybe not. Let's come back for Colchester and Carlisle and uh, see how we're doing. That gives us another another couple of games. Uh, two league games and the opener against Chelsea's U23 side. And we'll see where we sit. Financially, uh, we are going down. We, we were up at about 995000 uh, Went over a million at one point with the uh, Leeds friendly. But uh, you can see we are losing money. Uh, I've also switched all my... I thought I switched this over to per month. Guess not. Um, but, uh, yeah, anyway, just trying to look here. So gate receipts, player salaries, bonuses, staff. We've got to, we've got to work on the, uh, the income side of things here, uh, to where we're not hemorrhaging money. I will probably be looking to get rid of some of our more expensive players come the January transfer window. Uh, I may look at buying out our player captain, uh, not player captain, player coach, because he's on over 100000 a year. That would help me out a little bit. I think we probably need to get down. We have a payroll budget here of $3 million, but I think we probably need to be sitting somewhere in the 2.5 range to, to be making money, and uh, we want to stay profitable, so... Anyway, we'll talk about that moving forward. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if there's any of these guys I should be giving a serious look to uh, in the squad that are not getting matches. And we'll sort them out by match. You know, there's not a lot. I mean, everybody's been off the bench with just a few exceptions. Uh, we've got a 28-year-old. And, you know, he's not a bad alternative either. I just don't think he's been on the pitch. Uh, I don't think he's even made the bench. So... Uh, but he could do a job. He's making a hundred thousand, but I mean that's three three hundred and forty thousand that can't play. And Williams is out for the rest of the year, right? And Shepard Shepard will be coming back in a couple of weeks. Let me uh, mark out the uh, unavailable. That'll help us out a little bit because that doesn't really count. All right, guys. Well, hit that like button if you like what you're seeing and want to see more of it. And we will see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye.